What's going on YouTube? Giosno right here. So in today's video I'm going to talk about a couple of important things you need to keep in mind if you're planning to jailbreak on iOS 15.2, 15.1, 15 and so on in the near future. This video is brought to you by Startsoft and the Startsoft KeyPass software which allows you to unlock an iPhone lock screen and activation lock pretty easy. You can do basically iCloud bypass on the pre A12 devices. If you forgot your Apple ID and password, definitely check it out in the link below. It works for a variety of issues. So as you probably remember back on January the 8th Justin Sherman posted quote 15.2 bad success rate due to recent mitigations though and they posted this picture here demonstrating basically a proper kernel exploit on 15.2. Even though it has bad success rate it can still be used for uncover and it probably would be used for uncover if it gets released. And of course if the uncover team figures out how to do proper remounts on iOS 15 because there is that problem as well but it can be tackled. However iOS 15.2 15.2 is currently signed. 15.2.1 has been signed for some time now, so I expect 15.2 to stop being signed very soon. Now, you wouldn't want to lose access to 15.2, so the best course of action right now would be to stay as low as possible, but still save your 15.2 and 15.2.1 blobs, because iOS 15.3 is already in beta 2, so it's going to come, and once that comes, probably 15.2 will no longer be signed at all. So this is my recommendation, if you want to jailbreak with Uncover as soon as possible, because we never know when Uncover gets updated, there is no word from pound to owned when they're going to update the tool or when they are about to release it, we just get a release. So with no public announcements whatsoever prior to the release, you can only hope you're on the right version. So the best thing to do would be to stay as low as possible, like 15.0, 15.0.1, 15.0.2 if you already updated the 15, or 14.8 and lower if you're still on 14.8, but do save your 15.2 blobs. Exploits do exist for 15.2 that can be used for jailbreak purposes. Of course iOS 15.2 does patch a lot of vulnerabilities so it would be a bad idea to update to it and stay there because all these vulnerabilities here that they have patched could be used for jailbreak purposes and might be exploitable with a better success rate than this one in here. However it's still a good idea to save the blobs. Now my tool of choice to save the blobs is usually blob saver because at first it's free and then it works on all major operating systems. You go here on releases and you get the one that you need. EXE for Windows, DMG for Mac and so on. Now to save the blobs it's pretty simple. Once you have it you press here on blob saver, you connect your phone to the computer with the power cable and you press read from device to get the ACID. Now if you get this error here with lockdown e invalid host, all you have to do is to basically take off your device and plug it in again and maybe press trust if it does show that. Which in my case it did right now and I press trust and that's it. The computer should be able to recognize the device and if I press read again it does work now. So that's a quick way to fix that error. Now as you can see the program identifies the ACID, the identifier and the device type directly from the ACID. So you don't have to do basically anything. With this program you can also save the A12, A13 and A14 devices blobs with no problems. You just have to press specify app nodes here and read it from the device which will require a reboot. This device though is not an A12 so we don't need that at all. So that's it. It's as simple as that. I've shown this in videos a couple of times before but people still are not on the right version and they still blame me when a jailbreak gets released and they're not on the proper version because they didn't listen to me. So please do save your blobs because these blobs allow you to basically update or downgrade in the future once a jailbreak is out but the iOS version will no longer be signed. So yeah, that's basically it. Thank you for watching. I am Geos now. Till the next time subscribe to stay updated. Definitely make sure you save your blobs for 15.2 because as I said there are exploits available. Yep. Thank you again for watching and peace out.